Okay. Now, this semester, you have a podcast assignment that you're going to be uh, doing. The purpose of this podcast assignment is to get you to choose an area of entomology or some closely related arthropod that you want to teach the world about. So to get to the podcast assignment, it's not embedded in the modules. It's this link right down here. So if you click on that, you got your normal landing page. It's your podcast. This podcast, um, if you get a good grade on it, will go live on our Veterinary Entomology podcast stream. So I've provided for you a link to the stream so you can hear what students have done in the past. If you click on this, it should take you to the SoundCloud of uh, this stream. You see there's hundreds of podcasts up here over the past several years. So you can enjoy those podcasts and, and kind of see what other people have done. This is just a way to take your knowledge and things that you're really interested in and uh, allow the world to hear it. Once these are published on the podcast stream, then you can put this on your resume, you can share it with friends and family, you know, do something neat and show what you've learned in this class. Awesome. Okay, so this podcast is associated with three separate assignments. I've given you a podcast overview here with a lot of information on it, but really quickly, this is basically a podcast on whatever you want, as long as it is somewhat associated with insects or arthropods. So you can uh, present a podcast on a particular insect, on a disease, on a concept, on something, but it has to have something to do with arthropod biology. Now, there's a lot of... Um, ideas out there. So just to give you an idea of what we've had in the past, and you'll go through that, that podcast stream, but I've had people talk about individual insects that they're interested in, different mosquitoes or fleas or the kissing bug or lice or whatever. I've had people talk about diseases. So there was one year a student had um, a bunch of his his family members come down with dengue fever. So he interviewed his family members to talk about what is dengue, how did we all get it, and how did, what did it feel like? That was fascinating. I've had other people go a little more outside the box, so to speak. Uh, students have gone through video games like Half-Life and uh, tried to analyze what were called insects or arthropods in that game to see if the, that was actually scientifically possible. Others have gone through Pokemon, uh, especially Pokemon Go, and... Uh, equated those different organisms in Pokemon with actual insects. What were they based on? So really, the world is wide open. It's your creativity, something that you're excited about. I want you to focus on something you really want to know about. I've had people on the equestrian team talk about dealing with insects on their horses. So, you know, it's whatever you want to do. Okay, so this podcast will ultimately be between 12 and 15 minutes. It's an audio recording that anybody will be able to listen to. Keep that in mind. So you're aiming for between about 12 and 15 minutes of recorded time. Now, doing a podcast can be a big job. So if you want to work with somebody else in the class, that is great. You can do that. You can have a maximum of three people in your podcast group. Each person needs to turn in your podcast separately, though. So it's not a group turn in assignment. You each turn it in separately. And the reason that I'm having you do this is because groups can be really useful some of the time. Sometimes, however, it can be more of a pain in the butt than anything. So if you don't want to work with a bunch of other people or you have a group where somebody just drops out or doesn't... Um, bother to come and do stuff, you don't have to worry about your grade being pulled down by that person, nor do you have to worry about giving all your hard work to a member of your group. Instead, you will each turn in the podcast and all the assignments associated with it separately. So if you are working well with your group, you can all turn in the exact same recording, the exact same paper, the exact same everything, as long as you're in the same group. That's fine. If your group member drops the ball, though, you don't have to give them your work. You can just say, all right, you know what? You haven't shown up to three meetings. Do your own stuff then. I'm out. And you don't have to give them access. So all your hard work will only go toward, towards your grade. So keep that in mind. Everybody in your group has to turn in the uh, podcast so that you get a grade. Okay. Now, uh, so you can work on the podcast on your own. Uh, you can work on it with... Uh, 
other students from the class or from the honors class or whatever else. You can have a max of three people in that group or you can work out with somebody who's not in the class at all. So if you just got a friend who's super interested in this, you got family members, whatever, that want to help out, that's fine. Do whatever you wish. You can even call in people for interviews. So if you want to find somebody who's an expert in this area or an expert on that particular insect or arthropod, call them in, have them do an interview. That's great. So whatever happens, each individual person needs to upload their assignment individually and they will be graded individually. Great. Now, the podcast itself uh, is broken up into several steps. First and foremost, you're going to pick a topic that interests you, and it could be anything you want. Like I said, uh, it just has to be some sort of arthropod biology related. It can even be really, really uh, barely associated with it, as long as you're interested in it. I have to listen to hundreds of these, so you make it interesting. I want to know what, what you care about. Next, you need to familiar familiarize yourself with the subject. I mean, a great way to begin is um, checking out the textbook, checking out Wikipedia. Uh, be very careful with where you get your information from, though. Remember, these places can be easily changed. So you want to support your information with primary resources, things like that. Uh, then once you have a grasp of the basics, start detailing your subject. You want to uh, create a robust outline, uh, get more information, really decide what direction you're taking your podcast in. I mean, there's a huge amount of information about some subjects and other subjects only have a tiny, tiny bit of information. Keep that in mind. If you end up finding that your subject that you were excited about really doesn't have a lot of information out there, feel free to change your subject. You don't have to run it by me. That's fine. Uh, just change your subject as you see fit. And then finally, you want to think about how to logically organize your podcast. This is where you need to critically analyze your info. You need to determine what would be best to present to an audience with varying educational backgrounds and think about the best way to logically present your information. So you're going to sort of move that uh, throughout. Then you're going to plan your podcast. And I've got a lot of information here on how to uh, plan a podcast, basically. So read through that. Uh, this is what I expect you to sort of add in. And if you haven't listened to podcasts before, I have a bunch of links for you up. So you can listen to some and uh, um, learn where uh, these things go. I've got various links on here for you on how to plan things. So this is a link, you know, planning your podcast, that sort of stuff that I have for you. So take advantage of all these things that I've had for you. Uh, then you are going to write out a script. So the script is probably what's going to take you the longest amount of time. And because of that, I've given you about a month to get that script written. Let me tell you, from bitter experience, I have learned that recording like this, if you don't have a script, it can be really, really difficult. What you think is going to take, you know, two or three minutes will take like 10 seconds and then you're just lost. That sucks. So that script will give you a chance to really plan out what you're going to say. The script needs to be as word for word as you can get it. So for your introduction, say exactly what you're going to say. Some of the pitfalls that students have fallen into in the past have been things like um, they said, okay, I'm going to spend about a minute introducing myself. So they'll just put on their introductions one minute. And then you find out, hi, my name is Adrian. That's not even near one minute. That's three words or three seconds. Mm, that's not going to work. And they don't realize that until they try to record. And now their podcast is only five minutes long and they lose a mess of points because it doesn't meet the minimum requirements. Keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, but when you audio record, you are going to need some uh, audio recording equipment. If you use a Mac or you have a tablet, a, an iPad, you probably already have GarageBand on there. If you have a PC, then there is free audio recording uh, software out there. The biggest one is called Audacity and it's free, works really, really well, but you can use whatever you want. You'll also need a microphone. Um, don't use the built-in microphone in your computer. That tends to be really tinny sounded. It's, it sounds like you're talking at the bottom of a hole. It's awful. Uh, use an external microphone or plug in your headphones that have a mic on it. That works really well. 
If you are having a hard time finding a microphone, uh, the library actually has microphones that you can check out and they have podcasting studios that you can use. So they have everything you could possibly need. Once you've recorded the podcast, you're going to need to turn it in for your final credit. You need to uh, put the podcast either in MP3 or MP4 format. Uh, there needs to be a minimum bit rate, so at least 32 uh, bit rate. Anything less than that is going to sound really awful. And the way that you're going to turn this in is you're going to upload it to Google Drive. So as uh, Texas A&M students, you do have free space on your Google Drive. So if you go to drive.google.com, sign in with your Texas A&M credentials and you have space here. So what you can do here is you can create a folder. Click on new and you can make a new folder. And that folder in that folder, you're going to want to put your podcast recording. You're going to want to put uh, a picture to put up with your podcast so it looks pretty and a list of keywords on a document. Then you are going to share this with uh, everybody. So in order to share it, click on these three little things there, you're going to get a shareable link. So you can either click share or get this link. The most important thing is to make sure that everybody at Texas A&M can actually view the link. Okay, so it will probably look like um, restricted. If it says restricted, we won't be able to open it in order to grade you. If this happens, you are going to earn a zero on your assignment. This is very, very important. This happens every single year. You click on it, you can see it because it's your uh, Google file, but nobody else can. So you have to be able to click on anyone at Texas A&M can view or edit or comment on the link and click done. And then you're going to copy this link and paste it into uh, the final grade or your final upload so you can turn it in correctly. So this is super, super important. Okay, so I've got all this information uh, written out for you in just excruciating detail. So if you're confused, go and read the instructions. Now, there are three assignments associated with this. Uh, here's your link tree, basically, with information on how to do a podcast. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I've uh, collected over the years. Uh, there's a bunch of software you can use, a bunch of resources. Here's some videos. Whatever way you want to learn, use this. And then these are, uh, this is the frequently asked questions I get with the podcast. So these are things that have been asked over the years. If you have a question on the podcast, make sure you check the facts first. Uh, if it's already answered here, I'm not going to bother answering your question. That takes too much time. I've already answered it. Read this. So here are some of the uh, facts. Uh, how do I get placed in a podcast group? You do your own group. Whatever works best for you. You don't have to be in a group, though. Is your topic appropriate? Probably. Uh, ask yourself these two questions. Does it involve arthropods in some way? If the answer is yes, great. Are you interested in this? If the answer is yes, then this is a perfect assignment. Fantastic. If you answer no to one of these things, choose something else. I don't want you to be bored doing this. You don't need to run the topic, uh, the podcast topic idea by me. It's fine. I trust you. Do what you need to do. Uh, if you can't find too much on your information, uh, you might want to change your, your podcast topic. You need to have enough information to fill 10 to 15 minutes or so. Now, how do you turn in uh, your podcast? You're going to click this podcast link or just click next. Uh, what happens if your podcast partner drops or they're not responding to your messages? Just do your own work. Don't give them the information. Turn it in yourself and you will earn the credit. They won't get anything out of it. Uh, let's see. Here's how you get the software. I turned in my final podcast recording and worked on my computer, but people are saying it still isn't working. What's happening? Likely you turned in a link uh, to something on your hard drive or you didn't open up the sharing stuff correctly. You will earn a zero if this happens. I highly recommend before you turn it in, send the link to somebody who isn't on your same network, a family member that's far away, something, and see if they can open it on their computer. Make sure you've never touched their computer before, though, because if you've touched it and signed in, they might automatically have access. It has to be on a computer that nobody's signed in on before. Uh, have them open it. If they can open it, you should be good to go. But you've been warned a couple of times now, if you can't open it, you're going to earn a zero. Uh, yes, you can work with a friend who's in a different section. That is just fine. Uh, you don't need to meet with me 
to talk about your topic. It's fine. I I approve it. It's fine. Uh, let's see. You can get some extra credit. Here's another space you can get extra credit during this class. Uh, I'm going to show you the setup for Peerceptive in a minute. But part of Peerceptive is you're going to be peer reviewing other people's podcasts. This will give you a chance to see what they're doing, to learn a little bit about what they're doing, and to get a better idea of how your own podcast is going to be graded. I have found that people do much better when they know how to use a rubric. Hey, so that's what I'm having you do here. But you can review extra podcasts. You have a minimum number of podcasts that you have to review. I think it's three that I put down there. It'll say on the assignment, but it's a few podcasts that you need to review. Uh, you can review up to 10 extra podcasts and earn a few points for each extra podcast that you review or each uh, script or each outline that you review. So you have some chance for some extra points every single assignment here. Now you can have up to three people in your group, but you don't have to have any. You can just work alone. You don't need to email me who's in your group. Don't care. Just do your podcast. Uh, now you're working a group who needs to turn in the podcast. Every single one of you. If someone does not turn in the podcast, they do not get a grade. They get a zero. Okay. Now we are using Peerceptive to uh, grade your podcast. Peerceptive is a peer review. A piece of software online, and it takes into account not only your work, but the quality of your peer reviews and your back evaluations. So in order to get your full grade, first and foremost, you need to upload your assignment. The grade that you earn on your assignment itself is only worth 50% of your final grade, though. The second part of your grade comes from your peer reviews. So you're going to be assigned a certain number of other people in the class to review. They might be in your own group. They might not be, whatever. But uh, you will be given the same exact rubric that I am using to grade your assignment. And you are going to use that rubric to give a peer review grade. You want to give a very high quality grade. And what I mean by high quality is no assignment is perfect. There's going to be something that needs improvement or there was a mistake or something. Find it and tell them about it. Actually take some time to read through or listen to the uh, podcast. Uh, write down what was good and what was bad. Give them actual good feedback. Okay, and so once you do that, then you're gonna get your feedback and your third portion of your grade is gonna be made up by the back evals. So these back evals, these back evaluations, you're gonna go through the feedback that you got and you're gonna evaluate your feedback. Was it good feedback? Did somebody actually give you good, comprehensive feedback? Tell you where you need to improve? Tell you why um, that something was good, but tell you why it was good? Or were they awful? Did they just give the feedback? It was good. I mean, I don't know about you, but it's super annoying when you're trying to get feedback from somebody and they just say, yeah, it's fine. Like, wh okay, what was good about it? What was bad about it? Come on. Actually, um, this actually gives you a chance to, t to say that, hey, uh, your feedback wasn't great. Or it was great, it was wonderful, whatever. Every time you do a back eval, you're gonna earn a back eval score. So the people that you evaluated will evaluate your back eval, your evaluations, and then that will be um, worked into your final grade. So this is the formula that Peerceptive uses in order to give you your final grade. Half of it is the grade you earned on your assignment. 40% is the grade that you earned on your peer reviews. And 10% is your task grade, meaning you finished everything and you did your back evals. All of that goes together to calculate your final grade. Now, if you want uh, excruciating detail on exactly how this is, I have this link here for you that will tell you exactly how we calculate the grades so that you know what is going on. Now, I will also be grading this and my grade is gonna be one of the anonymous peer reviews that you get. So you wanna make sure that you're taking all these peer reviews very, very seriously since you don't necessarily know which one is mine. Although you can usually tell because I tend to give uh, feedback in a particular way, but you know, we're going to pretend you can't tell. All right. Then uh, you want to make sure that you actually upload your Google, uh, you upload your podcast to a Google Drive with a shareable link. I've given you a step-by-step -step instructions for this, so you shouldn't have any excuse as to why this, um, or as to why this wouldn't open. It's all here for you. Um, I've mentioned something about the keywords in the picture for your final grade on the, uh, actual podcast page on on uh, 
SoundCloud, you'll find that each podcast has a little picture and some keywords that allow people to search for your podcast. Give those to me. Let me know what you want keywords. And then if you have any other question about the podcast, make sure you read all the directions, read all the information I've given to you. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, if I've already answered your question somewhere, I'm not going to email you back. That just takes way too much time. Go and find the answer. If there's something that is not covered here, you can fill out that contact form, contact me, and we'll answer those questions. All right. Now, here are the three assignments. The first assignment is your podcast title, topic, and outline. So basically, I just want to know how you're going to organize your podcast. So give me a, a topic. Is it going to be dengue fever? Is it going to be fleas? Is it going to be Pokemon? Whatever it's going to be. Uh, make an interesting title for your podcast. This is the title that's going to be put on uh, SoundCloud. Now you can change this title. You don't have to run it by me if you decide to change the title after you get all your feedback. That's fine. You don't need to let me know you're changing it. Just change it. Okay. And then uh, at the top of this assignment, you'll see the due date. Your podcast title is due pretty early in the semester because I want to give you enough time to actually get everything done. You'll see what points it's worth. The submitting is an external tool because you're submitting it to Perceptive. Um, you this will say how many attempts you've done and how many you're allowed. You only you're only allowed one attempt for each one. So make sure that you do it correctly. If something goes really wonky, you can reach out to us and we can try to clear it out for you. But the deadlines that we have here are hard and fast. So if you miss this deadline, you cannot upload a late assignment. This is because of the peer review aspect of things. Because these have to open up for peer review and you have to have enough time to get the peer review done and still be able to get the rest of your assignments done throughout the semester. I can't have you do late assignments. You can still review if you miss uploading an assignment, but you'll miss about half your points. You'll miss 50% of these 25 points if you do that. So here are the directions for this first assignment. Uh, it'll give you step-by-step, -step, very detailed things. I, I tend to write too many directions so that, that way all your possible questions are answered. And then you can go into Perceptive. So this is what Perceptive is going to look like. You will have your rubric here. This is literally how you're going to get graded. I'm going to use this rubric. Your peer reviewers are going to use this rubric. So open up this rubric and see exactly how I'm going to grade it. So this will give, um, you know, this first thing, does the topic choice involve somehow an insect or closely related disease? And then these are the weights or the numbers that I'm going to use. So you have three choices for this particular one. Yep, it clearly involves an insect or closely related arthropod. It might, but it's unclear. There's no evidence that it includes this. These are associated with point values. Uh, so if you, you if you earn this one right here, uh, then you're going to earn a zero on this um, portion of the rubric. So you've got all these different things here. Read through this rubric and make sure you have the uh, the top thing. If you click on settings here, this gives you all the information that you could possibly need for this assignment. And then you click here to upload your submission. The first one, I'm just going to have you upload either in a PDF or a doc. Make sure that you can open it, uh, that anybody on any computer can open it. I highly recommend using a PDF file. That's uh, That just ensures that anybody on a PC or on any uh, Mac can open it. If you use Word or if you use um, OpenOffice or something like that, some people may not be able to open it and you'll end up with zeros. Keep that in mind. So you'll click submit. Once you submit it, uh, you'll have it's you have about a week to wait or so, and then the um, reviews will open. You should get a message when the reviews are open. So that's the next on the timeline. Read and review others' documents. Uh, remember, you can read some extra ones in order to get extra credit. And then finally, you'll do the back of You're going to read your own reviews and make back of And then you can take... Uh, the advice that you got from those those uh, reviews and add it in for your next assignment. So that's how Perceptive is going to work. So your first assignment is the podcast topic, title, and outline. That's due very early on the semester. Click next. You've got your next assignment, which is the podcast script. So this script is a word for word write out of what it is you're going to say on your podcast. So that's due a little bit later. You have about a month after you turn in your um, 
or you get your podcast reviews back for the uh, title and outline to get the script done. I've given you the most time to do this because it should take you the most time. Now it is worth 50 points. You have one attempt to do it as well. Uh, and this gives you exactly what should be in this script. Okay. Now the script, let me tell you, it is a lifesaver when uh, you're trying to record. So I can't tell you how many times, like I think I know what I'm going to say. I sit down in front of the microphone. Everything goes out of my head. Get the script done. Now, the only thing you don't have to write out word for word in the script is your uh, interview questions. If you decide that you want to interview somebody, uh, you need to write out the questions, but you don't have to write out what they're going to answer. Since you don't know what they're going to answer, just say, here's the question I'm going to write, and then the person is going to answer how they answer. That's just fine for the script, but be prepared to uh, understand that maybe their answer is going to be a little short, uh, so you can't assume that your interviewee is going to fill up 15 minutes. Be very careful about that. Okay, and then this is going to go through the same process that you just saw. You're going to load this into uh, Perceptive. You're going to review other people's stuff. You're going to read your own reviews and give a back eval. And then your final grade will come from your final podcast recording. So this needs to be in an MP3 format or an MP4 format. Uh, this one is due near the very end of the semester. Uh, I've given you the maximum amount of time I possibly can. It's not as long as you had for your uh, script, because once you have the script written, it should be pretty straightforward to record it, edit it, and upload it. But this is worth 100 points. So each time you get reviews, uh, you're going to add that in as you see fit. Uh, take some with a grain of salt, though. If you, if you really don't agree with it, it's fine. Don't add it. Don't change it. Now, if you decide at this point to totally change your subject, that's fine. Do it. Do what you need to do. Now, um, your podcast should be somewhere between 10 and 18 minutes. If it's more than 18 minutes, that's the max it should be. You're going to lose points. If it's less than 10 minutes, you're going to lose points. So the, um, the preferred length is that 12 to 15 minutes that I mentioned at the beginning. But you want to try to get a good sound quality. You don't want to have a lot of background noise, a lot of crackles, a lot of distracting sounds. Um, you want to make sure it sounds nice when you're listening to it. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Here's what needs to be turned in. These are all the things that uh, you need to add to your, that Google Drive folder. And when you turn in, and so I've told you a bunch of times, make sure it opens. But when you turn this in, uh, this is going to be a URL. This is simply that URL for that Google Drive folder. And for the like 50th and final time, make sure anybody can open it. Because if you cannot open it, I have on the rubric here, um, if somebody, if you can't open it, they're going to give you a one for absolutely everything. And you're going to earn a zero on your assignment. They're not going to worry about it. They're not going to uh, you know, email you and try to get it to open. They're just going to give you a zero and move on with their lives. So be prepared for that. All right, so that's the basics of the podcast. Uh, go through this documentation, read absolutely everything, anything you could possibly want to know about this podcast is on here. That frequently asked questions board, I'm constantly updating with new uh, questions. So you should be able to answer everything yourself. I can't wait to hear what you come up with. Let me know if you have any questions.